Hello folks, we're back. It's me, Peck Tech, and Owen from Organic Cardboard. And it is very late at night. What time is it? It is about 1 a.m. right now, and we just went through hell and back. We played a quick little <laughs> game of Zombie Side Invader. Yeah, quick. <laughs> quick. <laughs> five, what was it? Five, five, about five hours? No. Well, yeah, about five and a half hours probably by yeah. the time we got through it. We did not play the beginning scenario. No. So I, I don't know. Does this happen to you, Owen? Like, I, occasionally I'll get a game. And every time I pull it out, it's with new people. Mm -hmm. So it always ends up just being the opening scenario kind of over and over yeah. again. This is where I was with this game. I played mm -hmm. Zombie Side Invader uh, maybe, I guess, four or five times. It's one of the very few. It's the only Zombie Side that I've painted. Like, I painted all the core set. I've got it all ready to go. Mm -hmm. But it just didn't make it out. I think it's one. It's the first one that I painted, and by the time I was done with it, I didn't want to look at it again. Yeah. So just immediately went right back in the box, <laughs> and then back happens. on the shelf. You spend like two months of painting, and then you, you're, <laughs> you're just like Psh. sick of it. Yeah. It's like I was wanting to play The Witcher really bad. Now mm -hmm. I'm just like, no, nah, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> wait. Take a break. Yeah. <laughs> But the uh, this is the space version of Zombie Side, mm -hmm. so they're not zombies, but they're they're alien zombie esque yeah. things. So it, it's got a lot of the same rule set with with a couple of really interesting things mm -hmm. tacked onto it. And I have to say, uh, playing beyond that first scenario, if you're stuck like I was on mm -hmm. that opening scenario, just just move on by because boy does it get challenging as it goes yeah, through. Yeah, it was definitely a challenge and uh, even with a little bit of rules goofing uh, I think we played the majority. There was like one there's like one spot that we We had one big mistake. There's a lot to pay attention to on yeah. this game. There's a whole lot of moving pieces like a lot of moving pieces like I don't know how many miniatures are in this game probably a hundred or something I don't know. A lot. There's a lot. There's quite a few, so it's a lot, a lot of things to pay attention to, and uh, it, it's that's one of the reasons why this game I think works really well as a co-op game because you can play this exact same, you know, more or less the same experience just by yourself. Right. But it really helps to have you know somebody going, oh wait, you forgot to, we forgot to do this or that or pay attention to all these little moving parts. Um, it's not that bad for how like I mean I played Sword and Sorcery. And there's a lot of little fiddly moving pieces that you really got to pay attention to with it. And with this one, for how many pieces you are moving, it's it's relatively manageable to do. It just takes a little while because you really have to kind of think out what you're doing, too. You got to be really careful about uh, how you position yourself in the game. It seems like with a lot of the zombie sides, there's this kind of same but different mm -hmm. kind of thing going on. So you have only a little bit more to learn. Yeah. Like uh, like the the rule set changes just ever so slightly yeah. uh, this way and that way. And a lot of times it's in a better way. Like it, mm. it seems like they kind of make a little bit of an improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people criticize the second one or the uh, second edition that I also have mm -hmm. of uh, being too easy. And I've certainly played a lot of, I've played more scenarios out of that one. And they were the quite a bit easier than what we played tonight, which just was, I, I couldn't believe, it was just like they were piling on and piling on. Mm. I can't believe we won yeah. at all. Like, in fact, oh. we thought we lost. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we thought we lost, and then I, I went and I re-looked up the rule, uh, because, so, the abomination, when it comes out, it leaves behind these mold areas, and if those mold areas ever connect, like, all the spawn points had them, and if the mold points ever connect, then you lose. You can't mm -hmm. let the mold points connect. So, uh, but it only counts if they're active. And I had just burned one out, one really critical one right at the exit yeah. and stuff. Very and critical. because I did that, uh, when the when the uh, when the abomination spawned and then reactivated because we ran out of dudes mm -hmm. and, and just walked up and connected it, we had thought we'd lost, but the no, they disconnected. Uh, thing saved us yeah we we literally like won by that last turn and it was i mean we we thought we were smooth sailing the turn before that and then just the way that those spawns show up you run out of pieces you run out of the the, in, the enemies that are supposed to come out which just keeps activating the abomination so you got a couple extra activations and connected that big chain but luckily 
Sean didn't uh, listen to my uh, uh, worries about <laughs> flame throwing at the end <laughs> when it wasn't like super necessary, but it wasn't a bad, you know, definitely wasn't a bad choice for the way this game played out. And uh, it did save us right at the very end. It was, it was good. There's a couple of things that are different. Mm -hmm. I, I mentioned the, 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 uh, the big guy, the abomination, I keep forgetting what it's called, the abomination and the spawn things, yeah. but also it's got an interior and exterior rules which isn't in any of the other ones because there's no oxygen in space. Yeah. So it turns out all these combustible things like, you know, bullets and flamethrowers and mm -hmm. stuff, no go. Yeah. Uh, they don't work out there. You have to use electric weapons. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, that was, a, that was, and, and you have to account for your oxygen into your equipment yeah. and stuff as you move outdoors. And that's, that was really challenging. Oh, and shooting through the mm. airlocks. Mm. You, you can't shoot, just can't go to, to an airlock and shoot into yeah. it. So Yeah, you're so used to uh, the old zombies, you know, or all, I guess most of all the other zombie sites where you just bust doors open and then there's just an open space to be, you know, shot into. But you can't, you know, you can't have like the air just escape out of these these places that the humans are walking into. On is this set on Mars? Is that where is I this? I think so. Yeah. So uh, with all the red soil and stuff, I think it is. Yeah, there was a. I felt like that. I don't know if fiddly is the right word, but I, I felt like that was a little odd to get used to, especially the fact that you can't. Um, Exploit like you can't do your your. Uh, I don't know what the generic term was for the the where you you have get some kind of uh propellant and then you're, you're igniting it uh, oh yeah like I'm, I'm real familiar from owning the green horde that the it's dragon a dragon fire. bile the and dragon you, bile yeah you throw some fire on top of it and you know, throw a torch and it explodes everything so on this one oh, it is two components i didn't think about that like the dragon bile and then what was the other thing a torch a torch and, yeah. other, and yeah. so this one is a flamethrower and a canister yeah yeah and so you run out of can and you can't throw the canisters outside too so that's that's the one thing that we really like kind of you know that was the big i don't know somewhat of a beginner handicap that we uh had a kind of <laughs> we, we went too far before we realized we did that once um, yeah and then we just kind of flipped the mold back over and 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 just took it as a, a little bit of leeway because we kind of had a rough start to uh coming into the the game and not being used to the characters and what they can do and yeah and positioning and all we had of that, a free but, molotov outdoors where it couldn't happen yeah. but that's fine <laughs> Must have left the oxygen door open enough, and it sucked, and you know, sucked enough air into. It's ignite. always funny when you realize you missed a big rule, like yeah. and it's like three turns ago, and there's no way to take it back. And yeah. You're just like, do we care, or <laughs> do we quit, or do we keep going? I felt like yeah. I felt like if we hadn't used that, we would have figured that out in another way. Yeah. Because we were just kind of like MacGyvering every single scenario that came up. Mm -hmm. So. So maybe we wouldn't have done as well, but I think I think we probably still would have won. Yeah, I like to think so. I'll take it as a win. Yeah. We're gonna say that's the that's the way it is. <laughs> I'll leave it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, yeah, other than the aesthetic though, and um, you know the oxygen requirements, the different kinds of, of weapons, like you pointed out, it's the mm -hmm. same game. Um, you know the aesthetic. It's like the, the you're basically fighting the flood from Halo. So you have that whole thing of the weird little spores and the other people look like they've they've kind of taken over somebody else's body, like all the workers. I think they have like human skulls kind of somewhere in the mix up of whatever <laughs> tentacles and mold that's growing on them. So it's kind of a mix of the flood and the uh, uh, what's that show that's out on uh, uh, it HBO that everybody got into that was uh Oh, I can't think of it now, but it had like zombies, but they're they're based off of uh, like some. Oh, kind those of vampires mushroom. with like the faces well, that came no, apart. Th this one was like it was like some kind of um, spores that were getting into. Oh, well, um, um, I'm forgetting all of it. The now. Last of Us. Yeah, The Last of Us. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so it kind of has a little bit of that vibe to it as well. Um, there. Uh, what's interesting about this game. Well, it has some issues too, like with the Kickstarter stuff. They so they um, they released all this extra content for this, and I don't know if it's like this for a lot of them, but all like almost most of the characters and the extra stuff, mm -hmm. they all kind of broke the game. Like everybody oh, was really? complaining that they it makes it like way too powerful. So wow. if you move beyond kind of the base 
characters and stuff, you start getting it. Now there's some interesting ones like they've got a Rick and a Morty. They got <laughs> they've got uh, they've got all kinds of, of of neat characters. And in fact, I bought this game. And I was mostly excited about all the extra guys that kind of Simon does, where they kind mm. of grab an IP or a likeness of other people and they kind of worm them into their yeah. their games and stuff. Just to work the FOMO up so you don't miss out on those extras during the Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah. But the uh, I it has another it has another add on to this if you wanted to go I think it's called a uh, like Dark Side or something like that. But mm. it's got another. I, I didn't bother getting anything extra. I got this game and I got the uh, the Kickstarter extras and that's it. Mm. Uh, aside from maybe a couple of these little. You got a couple of these little card holders and stuff. And yeah, that's they're pretty it. handy. Yeah, certainly something if you got a 3D printer, you could print something like this, but it definitely makes it uh, nice to just keep all those little bits. And this has got plenty of room. Whoops, it's got plenty of room for <gasps> sleeve cards. Yeah, and they break really, no. <laughs> they break apart really easily, so I can just break Sean's yep, stuff they actually and leave. Have, and they have it. two sections, so you can so, put sleeve, you know, if they're a little bit bigger because yeah, they're sleeved, so you that's, can put that's, in there. That's kind of nice, though. It's nice to have uh, something to sort your pieces and everything. And the artwork was nice and consistent through this, and not as uh, cartoony, I guess, as, as yeah. maybe the regular zombie side, but still, yeah. uh, still good, still solid. Uh, the board's... Are all warped as hell, like the little map <laughs> boards. Uh, there's no way to like make them fit together that looks right. Um, that could definitely, like, if I was going to do an improvement, I'd definitely make these boards thicker or, or just better. I've got yeah. so many other games that don't do that, mm -hmm. so I know it's possible to make boards that don't. I know it's hard, but you you can do it, Simon. You can do it. Make yeah. make board games boardier again. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, this was fun though. I've been, uh, I, I uh, played uh, the Green Horde uh, recently. Not got to, I didn't get to finish the game, and so I was kind of uh, bugging Sean about pulling out his uh, Invader version. And it was, it was fun to try. It's, uh, it's definitely, it, like, it definitely feels like a different kind of game as far as it's not just like here's Zombicide with a paint over it. It does feel like its own kind of thing, so that's nice. It does. Uh, it is yeah. unique. Uh, that is something mm -hmm. cool that they do. It, it, it's good to have kind of a rule set, but change it up just enough yeah. to where it, it is different. And, and if you like space, like if you mm -hmm. like the space theme, I think this does a good job with that. It added a bunch of stuff that's wouldn't have been an issue on, on planet Earth, you know, like, <laughs> like they're not being oxygen and stuff. You yeah. know, that works out. Pretty good. Yeah, some neat neat elements to have to consider, but man, it does get it does get hairy, and that's the whole thing with with uh, Zombicide is it's 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 all about feeling like you're overwhelmed and and barely getting by. But you know, uh, once we got once we got all of our weapons and everything and got set up, we were able to like mow down big hordes, and that's kind of what you're looking for out of a out of a Zombicide experience. But yeah, it does get crazy. It gets it crazy does. at the end. It does. It was yeah. a lot of fun, though, and uh, I I enjoyed it. I, it's definitely going to stay in my collection. Mm -hmm. uh, I I absolutely love space theme things. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've got my I've got my Black Plague. I've got this one, and I've got the 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 modern one, yeah, the so. reimagined the series two or whatever it was. The whole time scale going there. So, so I've got my I've got my whole, and I feel like I'm done with Zombie Side. Mm -hmm. Like unless something. Let's take yeah. out. Oh wait, I got Marvel zombies yeah. all the way. Oh yeah, yeah, you do have that, and he's got the other like small, you know the the. Oh, when I got the, the mini Marvel zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah or the bait, you know, the one that was used a lot of standees instead. It was like the uh, the economy version. Yeah. of Zombie side. Oh, when I've got travel zombie side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's just one of those series that's nice uh, if you got a friend that's got because like I I don't feel like I'd ever need to get those games. <laughs> Uh, I'll have uh, one or two iterations of it. I, I backed the White Death, um, and and I've got Green Horde, and I don't even feel like I need to go back and get Black Plague uh, because of those two. It's going to be enough of a zombicide experience for me to have at home. And if I want to play something different, I can come over to Sean's and and check out you know the the nice painted version that I'm never going to finish painting all of mine. So. <laughs> 
Uh, it's nice to nice. Well, nice same to for me. That. You can get your green horde pretty. Uh, not almost painted no, up. No, no, not even close to almost. I got all the fatties done, and that's it. <laughs> You're working on but it. It was it was it was fun enough to do through. It's just, it's a lot of work to paint stuff, but it's it was fun. It is. It's a lot of work, but it's 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 a classic upgrade that you have forever. Mm -hmm. And even though these paint jobs aren't as good as the paint jobs that I've done. Uh, more recently, this, in fact, these guys were the, i just gotten contrast paints. Mm -hmm. it, I'd, I'd just got like a set of five or six of them, and I used them to paint all of these. So this was my very first attempt at painting things. The contrast paint is still a kind of a mixture of the old style and the contrast paint style too. Mm -hmm. So um, it's yeah. interesting. I, I, made, <laughs> I made some interesting choices yeah. <laughs> with my colors and stuff. The bases are kind of funny. Uh, I wanted all the bases to look like they were uh, under some of these fluorescent lights. So I gave them kind of this weird green, greeny blue uh, color on the bottom that I'm not super happy with. But Yeah, but it works well. Anytime you got them painted, any, any kind of, you know, even if it's just a basic paint job, which I think you did really good on a lot of these, especially the heroes and stuff too. So um, it, it definitely makes the game look a lot nicer. It was fun. As always. It was fun. And if you just concentrate on the base set, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. Right. Not like the millions of extra pieces that you'll never play with that you get from the Kickstarters. Sometimes it's like Solomon <laughs> Kane and the base set takes you three or four months. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. I think I did this, I think I painted all of this stuff in about uh, about a month, mm. about a month or so. But yeah. it's been a few years now because this one came out a while ago. Yeah. One of the first ones I backed off the Kickstarter oh, wow. back when I was in my my opening tears. So was it like 2018 or something like that? Yeah, I can't. Well, I can't remember. I'm yeah. thinking probably 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah, I think I I think it was delivered in 2019. I'm sure Sean will put it down here somewhere. Yeah, maybe maybe I put it there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. There, maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe it's there. Maybe. It's Did there. I do it? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Mm -hmm. uh, Owen and I love to review things. We love to tell you about it. If you'd like to see more of that, there's a playlist right there. And over here's something that uh, the internet thinks you'll like. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Maybe you should click on that. Compelling. You can always <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to us for more. And until next time, enjoy your games. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.